Here we have a classic SAT algebra practice question. Have a look. We are given that a squared plus b squared is equal to z, and then ab is equal to y, and we are going to find out which of the following here is equal to 4z plus 8y. So go ahead and give it a try. All right. Okay, this is a typical SAT algebra question. Have a look. If we have a squared plus b squared is equal to z, and a times b is equal to y, then we are going to find out which of this right here is equivalent to 4z plus 8y. And as always, please pause the video and try this first. You did? Good. So now let's see how we can do this. So this right here is just pretty straightforward in the sense that because we have 4z, this z here, well, we know that it's given to be that, a squared plus b squared. So we can just put that down here. So we have 4, and let's open the parentheses, and then we put a squared plus b squared inside. And then we'll just continue, we add 8, and then look at the y. Well, for the y here, it's the same as a times b, so we just have to put down ab here. And this parenthesis is not necessary, because we just have to do a times that. Alright, so for this right here, you see, mm, that's a setup, but this is not the same as any of this, because we will actually have to multiply this out and try to factor it. Have a look. Right here, I'm going to just distribute it, so we will get for a square and then we have 4 times that which is plus 4 b square and the reason I put it this way is because once we put this in the middle we can see that this right here is actually a trinomial that we can factor it and I'll show you guys how we can do so by using the tic-tac-toe form uh, some of you guys might notice that we can actually factor out a 4 but like that's not one of the options so we don't do that so we'll just factor like this. Okay, 1 times 4 gives us 4a squared. The answer to that will be 2a times 2a. Right, that will give us 4a squared. And for this, let's put down 2b times 2b. That will give us 4b squared. Check this out. When we do this right here, this times this is going to give us 4ab. Right, 2a times 2b is 4ab. And then if we do this times that, 2a times 2b Again, it's 4ab. Together, when we add them up, we do end up with the plus 8ab. So we have found our correct combination. This means this right here can be factored as yes. Read it across. We have 2a, and then this is a positive, so we add 2b, and then multiply by 2a plus 2b. And notice that, in fact, they are exactly the same. So we can write this as 2a plus 2b squared. And we can, of course, go back there and say the answer is b. Hmm? Just like that. So that's pretty much it. And of course, you can try to uh, plug in numbers and then just get the answer. But I think it's a pretty good exercise if you know how to factor this, not just for the SAT, but also for your algebra uh, class. So go ahead and try the other questions from the playlist. I'll see you guys over there.